Now let us start epistaxis, a very common occurrence, but in your school life, you must have seen a lot of your friends or classmates having bleeding from the nose. Let's talk about it. Now, what is the most common area of epistaxis? The answer is little area. Anatomy. Little area lies on the anterior inferior part of septum. It's on the septum. On which part? On the frontmost part and the lowermost part. Over here only, right? When you put finger in the nose, you touch the septum. Which area you're touching? Little area. So little area is a highly vascular area lying on the anterior inferior part of septum. Now, what does little area contain which bleeds so much? Little area has Kieselbeck plexus made by four arteries. We have total five arteries, but Kieselbeck plexus is made by four arteries. Which arteries contribute to the Kieselbeck plexus? Let us see, out of five, four arteries contribute to Kieselbeck plexus of little area. So, nemo area is little area and nemo plexus in that area is Kieselbeck plexus. It is made by four arteries. Number one, greater palatine. Number two, sphenopalatine. Number three, superior labial. And number three, number four, anterior ethmoidal artery. My dear friend, famous question is, posterior ethmoidal artery has no role in the contribution to design of Kieselbeck plexus. So, which artery has no contribution to Kieselbeck plexus? Answer is posterior ethmoidal artery. There another plexus people think that this is also contributing to some cases of epistaxis is Woodruff plexus. Now, my dear friend, where is Woodruff? This is Woodruff plexus. The, the picture is of the lateral wall of nose and you are seeing it on the lateral wall of the nose, not on the septum. And my dear friend, this is a venous plexus. It's a venous plexus, not arterial. It's a venous plexus and it is a posterior plexus, not anterior. Okay, so it's the posterior part of the lateral wall of the nose. Okay, so Woodrow plexus is not a very common set of bleeding. It is uncommon set of bleeding, but you should know how to differentiate Kieselbeck from Woodruff. First of all, Kieselbeck is arterial plexus and the Woodruff is venous. Okay, number two, Kieselbeck is in the anterior part of the nose and Woodruff is in the posterior part of the nasal cavity. Okay. Third is Kieselbeck is on the septum, on the antero inferior part of the septum and the Woodruff plexus is on the lateral wall of nose, just, just above the inferior turbinate. Just above the inferior turbinate is the Woodruff plexus. Let's revise once again. The Kieselbeck plexus is arterial, Woodruff is venous.